Hey everyone, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'm showing you how to make a banana cream pie. Banana cream pie is surprisingly simple to make at home completely from scratch. Now, to get started, we are going to need to bake our crust. Now, banana cream pie is commonly served on either a pastry crust or even a graham cracker crust, both of which I will leave recipes for in the description below. But today, we're actually going to be making ours on a vanilla wafer cookie crust. I love the way the flavor of the vanilla cookies pair with the bananas. It is so good, I really think you're going to love this. Now, to begin, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and next you will need 65 vanilla wafer cookies. We're going to add these to the basin of a food processor and you'll want to pulse these until nothing but fine crumbs remain. Now you'll need three tablespoons of firmly packed light brown sugar. We're going to add this in with the cookies and we're just going to stir again until that's nicely blended in with the cookie crumbs. Now the next thing you're going to need is seven tablespoons of melted salted butter. We're going to add our cookie crumbs into this butter and stir everything together until the butter has been completely and evenly absorbed by the cookie crumbs. Now transfer these crumbs to a nine and a half inch pie plate and we're going to pack that in down the bottom and evenly up the sides. I found that using the clean bottom of a measuring cup makes it really easy to tamp down those crumbs. When finishing the edges, I like to use my finger just to gently press down the top. That way that crust is nice and firm and it's not going to crumble when you go to cut into it when you're ready to cut into your banana cream pie. We're going to want to transfer this crust to our 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven where it will need to bake for about 13 minutes. While our pie crust is cooling, we can go ahead and make our banana cream pie filling. To do this, we're going to head over to the stovetop where you are going to need a medium sized heavy bottomed saucepan. To this saucepan, we are going to add 3 fourths cup of granulated sugar, 4 tablespoons of cornstarch, and a half teaspoon of salt. Now use a whisk to stir these together until they're combined. Now we're going to add five large egg yolks. This is just the yolks, you wanna discard the whites. One and a half cups of whole milk, one and a half cups of heavy cream, and whisk everything together until everything in this pot is nicely combined. Now we can go ahead and turn the stovetop heat to medium and we're going to whisk continuously while it cooks and we're going to cook this until it thickens and until it finally starts to simmer or bubble. Now once this mixture begins to bubble, you're going to continue to whisk it constantly and you're going to time for one minute. Once it's boiled or bubbled for one whole minute, then we are going to remove it from the heat and you'll want to continue whisking at this point just because the bottom of that pot is still hot even though it's not on the stove any longer and you don't want that pudding mixture to start burning to the bottom of the pot. Now the next thing you will need is three tablespoons of softened butter. As you can see, I've already cut these into tablespoon sized pieces and I'm just going to add them to the pudding mixture one piece at a time. And after each addition, you're just going to whisk the mixture until the butter is melted and completely combined. Once all your butter is added, we are also going to stir in one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Now you're going to need a large heat proof bowl and a fine mesh strainer. What you'll do is you'll set your strainer over the bowl and we're going to pour the filling through that strainer. That way if any pieces of the egg have cooked or if you have any clumps in your filling, that's going to get filtered out. Now before we go any further, you're going to need to let your banana cream pie filling cool at least for 20 to 30 minutes. Now, in order to prevent a skin from forming on the top of our filling, you're going to want to take a piece of plastic wrap and just firmly press this against the surface of the filling. So once your banana cream pie filling has had some time to cool and is no longer hot to the touch, we're just about ready to begin assembling our pie. Now before you can do that, we're going to need to prep our bananas. You will need two nice sized bananas and we're just going to peel them and slice them into pieces. Now, as you're probably aware, bananas are way too prone to turning brown and mushy really fast. And this can even happen when they're in the middle of your banana cream pie. Now, to prevent this, one thing I really like to do is give all of these banana slices a really quick bath in either lemon juice or lime juice. I'm just gonna dip all of these slices in this lemon juice, make sure they get entirely coated, and then remove them, drain them on paper towels, and once you've dipped all your banana slices, you're going to want additional paper towels to pat them dry. Oh, 
Okay, so now we are ready to assemble our banana cream pie. So long as your filling has cooled enough and it's no longer too warm to the touch, what you're going to do is you're going to take half of this and pour it into your prepared pie crust. Use your spatula to smooth this filling out until it's a nice even layer. Now you're going to top this with those bananas we just sliced. Finally, take the rest of your filling and pour that evenly over the bananas. And make sure you use your spatula to smooth this out so you have a nice even layer. All right, once again, you're going to need some plastic wrap and you're going to press this directly into the surface of the top of your banana cream pie. Again, this is going to help prevent a skin from forming while it's chilling. Okay, now this banana cream pie needs to go to the fridge where it will chill for at least several hours or preferably overnight. I have one waiting in the fridge that I prepped yesterday so I can show you how we finish it off. All right, this banana cream pie is just about ready to serve. However, while it can be served just as is, I really recommend that you top your banana cream pie off with whipped cream. I'm using my homemade whipped cream here and if you want to do the same, I will leave the link to that recipe in the description. All right, now we are ready to dig in. And that is how you make a banana cream pie completely from scratch. I really hope you guys enjoy today's recipe. And if you try this one out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you guys enjoyed today's banana cream pie recipe, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and please hit that notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed today's recipe, here are a few others you might like as well.